Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now February 8th of 2024 and there's been a lot of things happening with all divisions over at Disney. Mainly of course Marvel Studios and Lucasfilm are at the center of all the issues for of course everything that's being run by Bob Iger and the rest of the board of directors over there. We know the whole lawsuit that is now going on from Elon Musk and Gina Carano going head to head against Kathleen Kennedy, Iger, and everyone else at Disney slash Lucasfilm. Now, Everything ranging from the Deadpool 3 drama, we know that the production of this film has been an up and down emotional roller coaster. This is exactly why I say that this movie may very well have a lot of good moments in there and mixed up with bad moments because most of the production went very smooth up until about the third act where Bob Iger began to cause a lot of trouble and reshoots are already planned for this spring by late March leading into mid-April. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So, what's really interesting about this whole situation is that yes, we know that Disney's only MCU movie coming out this year is a Deadpool three. That's the main reason why. They are really placing all bets on this movie to at least make a decent profit. In fact, they are really hoping that this is going to be their movie of the year of 2024 to really make themselves get back on track. And now I've said this before, even if Deadpool 3 ends up being a above average film, it's not going to save the Marvel Cinematic Universe because look at what we have lined up in 2025. All of those expensive failures, all of the reshoots happening with Captain America 4 and the rewrites surrounding Blade 2025, and let's not forget about all the drama with Fantastic Four. However, this is where things get very interesting. Now, ever since the Deadpool 3 drama between the creators and the Disney heads, many battles have been happening between Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, and the writers, also against Bob Iger. One major development has much to do with Hugh Jackman, who recently took part in a recent remote meeting that was done between the Disney heads, the creators, and a handful of the main stars of the film over the plans for the third act reshoots of the movie when it involves, of course, reshoots specifically. Surprisingly, it turns out, Jackman recently blasted the Disney heads behind the scenes after they just finalized to suppress and delete his scenes completely that focused on all the wars that Wolverine went through such as World War II, Vietnam, etc. This includes scenes that involve Jackman as Wolverine fighting in a montage, or a collage if you will, of scenes in World War II, Vietnam, and even the Cold War with covert secret missions. However, a significant update to this ongoing drama is that Jackman reportedly slammed the Disney heads and even had director Sean Levy step by his side to take things to his defense over how expensive the scenes really were. Bob Iger's argument was that this was both cost-related as the scenes weren't quite done yet for filming and still needed to go through post, that Iger doubled down on his beliefs also that they were too violent based on the plans mapped out by Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick with the help of Ryan Reynolds. To put things into specifics, the Deadpool 3 team shot a scene for Wolverine on the Normandy landings that were replicated somewhere in studio. Iger and the Disney heads believed, based on the footage that they supervised, that it was even more violent than something seen in Saving Private Ryan. This is ultimately what led Iger to re erasing the scenes, essentially, having, of course, Jackman and Sean Levy mixed up in the drama. Now, both Jackman and Sean recently fell into more arguments with the Disney heads after Bob Iger finalized his plan to not even let these scenes arrive on the Blu-ray edition or the Disney Plus digital version in the future, as Iger wants to never create a contrast of what could have been for the film based on what was erased and or kept in the final cut as a comparison. However, for reshoots, Iger is planning and pushing to do a lighter version and shorter version of the World War II battle for Hugh Jackman. This is where things get messy, guys. However, this is something already that Jackman and Levy are taking a stand against, as Bob and the Disney heads want to make a more family-friendly version of those battles on the big screen to showcase Wolverine's past. This is another challenge that the creators are facing, and this reportedly just made up Jackman's mind to remove himself completely from ever appearing on the Disney-run programs like Jimmy Kimmel Live, The View, and even Good Morning America 
to promote Deadpool 3. With Iger now pushing to get those scenes reshot to be more family friendly, it's creating an uproar from the entire creative team, including Reynolds, who worked hard on the violent versions of those scenes for the Marvel fans specifically. Now guys, let me just stop here quick before I move on. Now, obviously I believe that the Deadpool 3 trailer is going to be quite uh, a good one, you know, from a marketing perspective. The main reasoning behind that, and I say this to this day, is the fact that those like Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy did get creative control and they were able to reason with Disney based on how the trailer would be formatted, how it would be edited and presented at the Super Bowl and shortly after online. And I think that yes, it is going to be one step in the right direction to market the movie. It's another thing though, when the movie comes out this July, all right? So that's another thing. But I'm glad that Ryan and Sean got their way to a degree to market this film the way that they wanted to. Now what's interesting about this is the fact that even Jackman and Sean Levy now are putting their foot down and defending themselves from Iger and the Disney executives really just forcing these reshoots to completely overrun the fight scenes, all right? The war history of Wolverine fighting through World War II, Vietnam, and a new installed Cold War actual mission that he's actually seen in that was supposed to be basically a remake of what was shown in X-Men Apocalypse in that base striking down soldiers. Ryan Reynolds wanted to actually kind of remake that into his own thing, into a more violent way. And good on him, I'm really crossing my fingers that one day, with enough convincing and enough, and enough uproar and enough demands that Disney caves in and they release these scenes either on a special cut of Deadpool 3 or like I say, even on the Blu-ray, something that Iger is trying to prevent. But he's got some nerve, let me say that. Iger's got some nerve to push for reshoots that will completely reshoot the war scenes, all right? The history of Wolverine, so to speak. Now, Iger believed that the lighter versions of the war battles will have to tone it down, of course, to be even safer than what was done in X-Men Origins Wolverine when Logan is seen fighting throughout the ages. However, Sean, Levy, and Jackman are already refusing to take part in any of those reshoots that will remake the legendary moments that were already fulfilled. So, it's one thing to shoot something that's expensive and have given it the okay beforehand. It's another thing for Bob Iger to want to redo those scenes. And that is where I think you cross the line. That's exactly why I believe that Sean and Hugh have had enough and why Ryan has had enough with all the nonsense that Disney's been doing. And look, everything happening now with Gina and Elon, Disney is not in a good spot. They are in the hot seat. All eyes are on them now. They are everywhere in the mainstream media. They are all over the Hollywood trades. It's not looking good for Bob Iger in the least. This is the rest of his run as CEO for the next two, two and a half years, give or take. I don't think it's gonna be a good one for him. So overall, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.